Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to jazz up a dull portrait in three easy steps using Lightroom. So you could go from this to this. We're going to work on this image. Now, I did not take this picture. It was taken by the photographer Ryan Moreno, and I downloaded it from a website called unsplash.com. Those of you not familiar with unsplash.com, it is a stock photo website where all the images are free. So, if you'd like to play along and practice this technique on this same exact image, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to it, and you could download it for free from unsplash.com. Now, I have no affiliation whatsoever with unsplash.com. I don't get paid to mention their name or anything like that. But it is nice that we could download images there to practice on. And this is the one we're going to use. Now, with that said, the technique I'm going to show you is very easy to do. And it works great on images such as this. It's a really nice image. It's just the light was really flat. It looked like it was an overcast day. And many times we have to deal with that. So we're out taking pictures and the sky is just not cooperating. Well, very easily you could kind of jazz this up. Step number one, add a directional light source. Now, what I suggest you do is if there is any hint of a directional light source in your image, don't fight it. Meaning, if there is a hint of light coming in from the left, our photographer's left, don't put this artificial directional light source that I'm going to do now on the right because it just won't look right. So compound any directional light source that might already exist. In this case, there really isn't any directional light source. The light is flat all the way across. So I could really put this anywhere I want. I'm going to put it on the left. Now to do it, I'm going to use the radial filter and it is best applied when the radial filter is off the image. To do that, what we're going to do is we're going to temporarily shrink down this view of the image by going in the top left-hand part of the left-hand panel, and we're going to click on 1 to 8. So I'm just going to shrink it down. Then I'm going to open the radial filter. I'm not going to worry about the slider settings right now, but do have invert check. Then what we're going to do is we're going to come off the corner of the image. I want this directional light source to be coming from this top left-hand corner. So I'm going to just draw out like that. I'm going to make it big. So you can see it's off the image. I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to reposition it a little bit. Maybe have it come out more like that. Now you can see it's not the right settings, but we're going to fix that. We're going to take exposure and it's going to be a light source. So I'm going to turn exposure up. And I think I'll make it a little wider. And that's so far that's good. So you know, I'm going to come back in and readjust this, but that gives us an idea. Now we have this light coming in from the top left-hand corner. The next step is we're going to warm the image. Now I'm going to temporarily close down the radial filter, and I'm going to temporarily go back to the Fit view by clicking on Fit over here. And I'm going to go to the Basic tab, and to warm it, I'm simply going to take the Temp slider and move it to the right. And, you, you know, you could go as much as you want. Now I'm just going to go a little bit. Like maybe around 13-ish, all right? So if you'd like, you could take tint to the left a little bit, but I'm just going to leave temp to the right at plus 13. Now we have our directional light source over here, but that is just white light. So we really need to warm that as well. So I'm going to pop back into that directional light source by going to 1 to 8 again, going to the radial filter again, clicking on this little button to make that radial filter active, and then I'm just going to match it. I have temp at plus 13. I'm just going to take this temp and put it at 13. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm closing thing down and making the image larger and everything. But actually, if I was doing this, I probably would have never closed the radial filter down. I would have just warmed it up in the basic tab and then popped back up here and warmed it up in the radial filter tab. So. You know, you could do this super fast. This is a really easy technique to jazz up an image. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to add some haze. So I'm going to go back to fit. 
I'm going to go to the basic tab and I'm going to go to Claire, or I'm sorry, I'm going to go to dehaze and I'm going to take the dehaze slider to the left. So it just kind of adds this kind of warm haze. Now we could come back in and readjust if it's not warm enough because you could see when I added that haze, it kind of took away some of the warmth. I could come in and, you know, re up the temp slider a little bit if I want to. Um, let's do it just a little bit. So then what I'll do is I'll pop back up to that that um, radio filter again. So we'll go there. So we're just popping back and forth between the two. And I could add a little bit of haze there with that radio filter. I might want to warm that filter up just a tad more because it's the uh, warmth effect isn't as um, obvious with the radio filter as it is with the basic tab. And the, really, that's everything. Close this down, we'll go to one-to-one, -one. fit. So there is our jazzed up image. There is before and there is after. And you can see that there's a lot of latitude here to really experiment. Now I made it kind of very bright and relatively warm. You could just as easily make this darker and cooler. So there's a lot of different things you could do to really jazz up uh, your image and really it's super easy to do three steps and as I mentioned you don't have to close things down like I did and make things smaller larger repeatedly you could do it very quickly I could have processed this image in less than a minute so it's a really cool technique I hope it helps you really jazz up your dull images and thank you everyone that watches my videos I truly do appreciate it I'll talk to you guys soon